Hello everybody, welcome. Now then, today we're going to be doing haggis. I know it's for Burns night, um, and it's a day early, but I'm busy tomorrow with Fake Away Take Away Wednesday. So I'm going to do it a day early anyway. Um, I said I'd do it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do haggis, tatties and taters. Um, haggis, swede, potatoes. And I'm going to turn it into a patty. Mash it all together, turn it into a little patty like a, a burger. And I'm going to cover it with southern fried. I want to use pan, uh, pan, panko breadcrumbs, but I had none in again. I did see it the other week and I forgot to get some. But I've run out again. So I'm going to use southern fried. Um, I have seen the recipe online, but not with the southern fried. So, simple. Let's see if we can get that nice southern fried crunch on it and all. I've already peeled my spuds. Make it easier for me. Peeled my spuds. And I've peeled my swede. Chopped it all up. I put them in two pans and then I'm going to put them in a in one pan at the end and mash them up um, I don't think I'll have a big enough pan because my haggis is going in the big pan so it's quite simple then this haggis was uh, I got it from Tesco last time I done a haggis people said it weren't the best but for me it's good enough you know what I mean I'm going to open it up quite simple if I can remember how to do it just wrap it in foil put it in the boiling up water put it in the water boil it and leave it for 45 minutes so it's quite simple there we go, I'll get some foil. Crack on, I don't know where the day's gone again today. I really don't. Get a bit of foil. Cover it up. Nice and tight. And I remember when I had it before, people saying try this, and I thought, oh, I'm not gonna like that stuff. And, I, and it is, if you've never tried it, try it, it's really nice. It's really nice, and I didn't want to do a normal tatties on the plate, and I thought, well, let's do a, something you can munch, put it in your lunchbox and take it to work or something, I don't know. Right, let's get that in the hot water, get the pan on. It has, I've had it boiling already, because time is a ticking today again. And it's just got to go in, in the water, for 45 minutes. So it's quite simple, isn't it? Bring it to the boil and put it on a simmer. And in the meeting, after about 20 minutes or something, I'll do them. Start getting them boiling, we'll mash it up. Uh, it's been in about 20 minutes, I'm just getting my water on, on my, my potatoes now and my sweet. We'll put a bit of shu uh, sugar, a bit of salt in, not too much. Just gonna always do it to taste after. We're gonna let them boil up. Drain them, mash them. Right, potatoes are done. Well, not done, but you know what I mean. All soft. Uh, Swede's not done yet, but sweet does take a lot longer than spuds, doesn't it? So, I'm going to get myself some butter. Well, Marge, for me, cause that's all we got. I'm going to mash them all uh, separate anyway. And then I'm going to combine it all in one go. I don't know if you can see that with the, you see it properly? With the steam, I don't know. Going to mash them anyway, you've seen, you've seen mashing, haven't you? I'm going to season it, put some salt and pepper in it. When I've mashed it all together, both both together, that's what I'm going to do. Now the neeps. A little bit with the neeps now, it's exactly the same. Bit of butter, get it in there. And we'll mash it away. Bit of milk. Don't have to clean that because it's all going to be done together. Right, mix it all together now. Bit of salt and bit of pepper. Now like that because you've got the haggis going in. The haggis is done, I took it off. Couldn't handle it yet, it's far too hot. Then we're going to get the haggis into there and put them into some patties. The haggis should be cool enough to handle now, I think. Let's have a look. Ow, 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 still hot. So open it up. So if you've never had like this, try it, it's really nice, it is. 
smells delicious. It smells absolutely delicious. Oh, well, I'll cut the ends off. I'm getting there pulling out and trying to watch it don't burn my fingers. There's the agis. Oh, it's gorgeous, this stuff. I do like it. <laughs> now, I've got to get it into my pan. Um, it's boiling up, so I'm just going to mash it up and pile it in. All right, I'll give that a mash. I'm all over the place again now. And then we want to put it to patties and you want to cool it down for in the fridge for about half an hour. And the Scottish people must have made this before, must have got it off 100%. Got to make it with southern fried as well, ain't they? My only concern is, will it fall apart? That's the problem, innit? That's why it's got to go in the fridge. That's what it's all about, innit? Trial and error, have a go. Right, let me see if I can handle it. Still steaming, like a good one. Um, I'm going to turn this on some patty, see how it's all gooey and soft. But I think once it's been in the fridge for half an hour, it might, I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Do one more, we'll do four. And we'll see. Trial and error, ain't it? Right, wipe my hands. And there they are. You can see them. Little patties say they're still steaming. Uh, I'll stick them in the fridge. About half hour, 40 minutes, till they go a bit hard, a bit cold and that. Then we'll dip them in some uh, southern fried. And we'll see. Right then, um, I've got myself some flour, a couple of eggs, and my southern fried. I haven't had this one before, I've just smelt this, it's lovely. It smells really nice. Mmm, looking forward to that. I've got my stuff in the fridge, it's cooled down, it has hardened up a bit. And I did also make, I let that other stuff cool completely and I made a couple more just in case some other ones are a bit runny. Anyway, I'm going to put some salt into my flour first. Why not? I've got some fat warming up there. I'm going to get the stuff out of the fridge. There they are. Cold now, hardened up a little bit. Well, it's all when it hits the fat, I don't know. We're going to find out, though, aren't we? Ugh. Right, first of all, can you can see all that, yeah, in the flour. It's dipping in. It's a bit uh, runny, as they say. Move that fork. Get it in some egg. Get it coated. Probably disintegrate knowing me. I'm going to do one at a time, obviously. And I'm going to get. Oh, we've too much flour on there. I'm just going to coat it both sides. I just wash my hands in between each one because I'm going to make a right mess. You know what I'm like? Not sitting there eating a pizza in your bag. Because yeah. you won't eat this. <coughs> you won't eat Swede, will you? Oh, You've got to be careful it doesn't disintegrate, you see. It's falling apart now. I'm going to get it straight in the pan. Uh, hold on. Let me show you the. Better put the camera there, Ben. On. Well, I'm just going to check the temperature of the oil first. I've added it on a bit. I want about 170 degrees, somewhere like that. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, way too high. Turn it down a bit. But I want to give it that quick blast anyway to hold it together. All right, turn off. Thing. There we go. Moment of truth, people. Got to watch them coming apart already. You can see it. I wanted to give it a quick fry, don't we? I'm 
and we'll see what happens with it. Can't see it working, but the instructions I've seen online says um, it might come apart. In other words, it probably does. I can't remember what it says to do if it don't. I think he just says, I don't know, leave it longer. Just like fish cake, isn't it, really, I suppose. Well I've done, guys, I've got the other ones out, the ones that I left to cool down it, uh, to literally steam dry. Um, I think the other one will be a bit wet, so I'm going to try one of them next. I've, I've flipped this one over, it does look sort of, but it is falling apart a little bit. Let me show you. Looks a bit like a fish cake. It's crispy, it's really crispy. I'm going to get that out. I'm going to leave it there to soak, er, uh, to soak, to get all the fat off. Leave it there, look. Mm. It might, once it dries up a bit, it might, er, uh, what do I call it? It might, um harden up. Well, onto this one, let's try another one. Burn this oven's coming apart and all, look. Right, I'm going to turn this one over. I've, uh, I've put them other ones back in the fridge. I might revisit it tomorrow or something. Well, I can't do it tomorrow. I might let them go completely cold and dry completely out. So we can turn this over. But that one ain't looking too bad now it's all dried up. Look. One, two, Three. Right, I'm going to get this one out and all now. Sort of there. Sort of. I'm going to put that straight on to drain. With the other one. The other one looks a lot better. I'm going to turn that fat off. I'm not doing any more. We'll let them drain away and then we'll have a little taste and we'll, I don't know. That one doesn't look too bad, does it? Now it's dried up. That one looks a bit daft. Well, there they are. Um. Just try to get them off the plate and they're falling apart. I'm thinking whether it's the, the Swedes a bit too wet. So they left it completely dry, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. But hey, you live and learn, don't you? I'm going to do a bit of brown sauce, have a dip, see how we get on. I'll try a bit first on its own anyway. I'll do the first one we've done. Break a bit off. I wanted to try and eat it like a pasty thing, like, you know, like, um, could anyway, I suppose. Hmm. Very nice, but very mushy. Hmm. Try a bit of brown sauce. Oh, quite like that. I do quite like that. Well, actually, I do like it a lot. I wonder if you'd be better off if you used, um, you know, the instant mash. You'd probably be better, wouldn't you? Mm mm mm. Mm. Can try a bit of this back? No? No, I've got the Swede in it. You can't really taste the Swede. No, no you sure? I'm on pizza. Just a shame I can't eat it properly. Would you have to leave your ingredients overnight to dry up? You're not bad. Would you have to leave your ingredients overnight to dry up? Will it need to the next day? No, I reckon, I reckon not. the potatoes are too wet. And the Swede, I reckon I should have. Left it for like an hour or two hours to completely dry out or something once I cooked them. That's what I reckon. But, but it's nice. Let me know if you've done this any Scottish people. You probably have. With a southern fried on it. Just a shame. I didn't seem to do on a plate like with uh, an egg on top or something, didn't I? But I wanted to do it as like. Put it in your hand and eat it like a pasty or 
a slice or something like that, but never mind. As I say, I tried. There it is. This is the other one. They are delicious, just a bit. So, I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. I'll see you later. It's been chaotic. It's just all waiting around and that. See you later. Bye bye. I'm going to eat it though. Well, I've ate them both that, that was one. The other one I could pick up a little bit more. That's uh, there, she had a pizza and it was terrible, wasn't it, Bab? Huh? Horrible pizza. Um, something like that, we're having a good time, but that's just a good idea. I put them other ones in the fridge. She wanted to leave them until the next morning, like a bit of bubble and squeak, because hard. You know, when it gets all the juices and out, so you do like a bit like a bubble and squeak. But are they are that. So I might try that in the morning. I won't record it, like, but I might let you, let you know. See you later. Bye-bye.